One, 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 one. Welcome to Hammer Dad! Dad! Whoa, number one spot. Show coming out with Pat McAfee Incorporated offices. I am Tone Diggs. At a baby tone. That's Bubba Gumpino. He's a Canadian station. He's a bearded wonder. That October air. That October air. Hit a, little, hit a little different this morning, my friend. We got fucking stats for tonight's game. Baseball season's back. Baseball. The boys of oh. fall. Thank you, Kenny Chesney. It wasn't about baseball either. It wasn't. Boys in the back, how are we doing? All right. All right. How you doing? Where'd you get that sweet fucking Arby shirt at? Oh, uh, over there. They got the meats. They do have the meats. That sandwich, yes. They got the meats and the shirts. They do. Mid, how you doing, Pa? I'm super pumped that baseball's back. Let's go. Baseball back. Yeah, it's outside. Um, it's outside season. Chargers. Chargers in the under. Andy. Neither of them. Neither were really ever a doubt, huh? What? What? Uh, the, the over was uh, my parlay almost came through. It was twenty-one fourteen for a bit. Correct. I was a little concerned. Um, hey, how about you making the pick though, Tony? It's did thank you. I gotta thank the boys for making me make a pick. Good get, job, Tony. Get good one job, of, Tony. Get one in the win column. Oh yeah. I mean, uh, was, everyone here won. Yeah, it was always the Chargers. What do we? I mean, everyone we, here won. We said it yesterday. We said it yesterday. You know, that's the problem with my numbers potentially earlier in the year. There's not enough numbers. There's not enough data. Feed the data. Feed the machine. So I went with my heart. Here's a question for you, Tony. Shoot. Raiders minus five and a half at home against the Bears. We this jumping weekend. in the NFL right now? No Montgomery. Are you hopping back on the Raiders wagon? Raiders minus five and a half against the Bears. We don't know who's fucking starting for the Bears. No Montgomery either. Tell you what, I've got this as a more even game than you would think. Is that with Nagy or with uh, Dalton or Fields? The, Do your would, numbers account for who's starting? Personally, I'd rather. I don't even know who I'd rather have at this point. That's the. I'm not fucking betting on that game. I'll say that. I'm with you, but if I did have to take it, like I said last week, I would take the Bears. I think Fields is good, and I've been beating this drum for a while, but I really do. Tell you what, you asked me about like the one, what maybe the worst game this week as far as like I got no fucking idea. I mean, if it gets up there, if that thing starts going with Montgomery out, how here's Jets Falcons. You got any? Uh, is that the London game? Yeah, nine thirty a.m. What? Have to bet it. You do have to bet it. It's the early game. <laughs> I will. Although uh, there is an old saying in, I, in England. Yeah, you don't. Bet, you don't bet the early don't game. Bet the early game. Uh, I I will. I'll bet it. I'll fucking bet it. You need that. Listen, you. Oh, what is it? It's going to be the second weekend in October. You wake up early. What? Brew yourself a nice cup of coffee. What? what? Start looking at the lines. Make sure nothing's changed on Sunday. Little running back unders. What? what? You flip on that team at the TV at 9.30 a.m. and you got NFL football on. What? What? Early sweat. What? What? That's going to be a 14-hour day of uh, sweats. Yeah, welcome to my life, Tony. It usually starts three and a half hours before that. On no footy this Tuesday, weekend, October 5th, I lean to the three in the hook. It is now minus three, my friend. Ah, I wish I could have got them at the hook. I will still take the Jets at plus three, probably. I will continue to fade the Jets. And we will see. I'll continue to fade the Falcons. I hate the Jets. I hate the Falcons. Falcons are not that bad this year. Okay, dude. Baby, Mitch. Just wait. Just wait, dude. They're literally... Artie Smith is just starting to cook. They are literally... Tw- they're not good. 27th in offensive yard per play, 26th in defensive yard per, per play. Do they not have a run game? 31st in offensive DVOA. No, they do not. No, their best running back is Mike Davis, and he stinks. He had he was on my running back unders this week. I believe he had 11 carries for 14 yards. It's almost it's over one yard to play. And I have taken the Bucks. Whoever the Bucks are playing against, uh, you can take the you can take the running back under on the other team for sure. Uh, Patriots ran for minus one yards. You could take the running back under for every Dolphins. game the Dolphins play right. because our yeah. best running back, Skaskin, no longer plays anymore. Uh, let me see here. Uh, offensive yard per run. 
Um, who the Dolphins got? Bucks. Dolphins, Bucks. They are 26 in the league in yards per rush. Tell you what. Do you know they're 32nd in the league in yard per pass? I'm a man who will admit, ah, no, I'm not going to. I wasn't wrong. We just made another mistake is what we do. These two fucking doofuses are dual O coordinators. Yeah. Maybe the combined age, the same as Chan Gailey, mm-hmm. might be just as dumb. Might be just as bad, huh? Flores, though, likes what likes the uh, operation. I love Flores. I got no problem with Flores. But can we not I just, Can we not get a college guy to be an OC? Hey, Gumpy, if you have two offensive coordinators, Bingo. you really have no offense. That's not true. Players. LSU won a national championship with two of them. Uh, passing game coordinator was not technically the offensive coordinator. Yeah, but you know it, what, it though, Nick? Is. Our two offensive coordinators kind of feels like we have zero. That's how bad it is. Exactly. Skaskin was unbelievable last year. He came up with that thing. Yeah, he did. And then... Yeah, where is Skaskin's been? Here? They're letting what? No, they letting what's his name go? The guy Jesus. they got from the Rams. That's absurd. The fucking wild. What cat. are we doing here? Um, oh, and tell you yeah, what, I get. I know Herbert is better than Tua. I didn't say that. Name one fucking person who said to take Herbert over Tua before the draft. I was looking for. Don't it. say you, Mitt, because I know you hate Tua. Just stop. I what, loved name Justin one. Herbert when he was at Oregon. I was also in college at the time. Yeah. No, I don't think there was so coming out. Like, that's the thing. I get it. I know Justin Herbert is better than Tua. I am well aware. But hindsight. Coming out, there wasn't a lot of pro-Herbert, but there was a lot of anti-Tua. The year before Herbert, like Herbert stayed the, for his senior year. Mostly because of the injury. Yeah. yeah, Herbert stayed for his senior year, and... If he would have came out that year before, I think he would have went like one or two. Everybody loved him. True. But then, you know, he was I mean, quiet. he just led his team to a Rose Bowl. At... He was quiet, though. Yeah, he's quiet. Panthers, Eagles, he lean anywhere yet, though? Yeah. Way? The Panthers? Yeah. Darnold ain't losing two in a row, dude. Uh, What's it at? Three and it a half. It opened at three and a half. Yeah, give me that. It's going to go to four, so hop on that now. Um,. Are we, do we have to, is this, it opened at four and a half. Will you let me know what it is right now? Do we have to go against Urban? Have to go against Urban? Oh, you think we bet on Urban? You think the team rallies around Urban? Titans off a loss to the Jets? He got laughed out of. It opened at four and a half. What's it at now? It was at four this morning. Okay. I will go. So wait, it's getting. That was before this. Everything else came out. It's it's their plus four. Everybody and their dogs gonna take the Titans. Give me a fucking Gatorade bath for two fingers. Everyone is gonna be on the Titans. Everyone. Yeah, this is a game. This is a death game. This is. Urban's uh, Urban this have has his own <laughs> his this own is funeral on Sunday. Yeah, I don't know if it's a death game. Definitely Close to a death it's game. It's a scandal game. It's a scandal game. Yeah, but if he wins, they got to keep him, right? If he loses, he's dead. It's a death game. No, I think he would have already been gone. Maybe. They want him to quit, right? It's a it's a scandalous death game. We need to look up the records in scandal games. That's what we, need we will to we'll stand your ground, games. Urban. Don't let him force you out. Don't quit. Don't quit. Saints and football team is an interesting one that I don't know Uh, if I like. Washington's up to plus two and a half. Feed me the football team. You like the football team in this one. Saints are Jekyll and Hyde, dude. They are. I know what I'm getting with the football team, and I think they're starting to get better. At least Heineke looked good last week, like good, good. At least you don't know if the Saints offense is going to be able to take advantage of the football team's defense. Exactly. And I just feel like Washington's defense has to get, like, they were so good last year. They have to get better, Tony have to i think packers Bengals is an interesting game i don't at all you on the yeah on the side of the pack minus down to minus three now yeah feed me that browns chargers it's down at three yeah see i was thinking Bengals, but i don't want to take it i would have taken a three and a half uh browns chargers is an interesting one what are the chargers minus one it opened at one is it still one Hold no on. the browns were minus one open was browns favorite browns plus one and a half now okay give me the browns yeah I'll, I'll, i think the reason why I was looking at that, uh, Chargers are 30th in the league in stopping the run. Yeah. Now, fucking Minnesota wasn't good at it, and they didn't score against them last week, so we'll see what happens there. Um, 
Niners cards is inter- interesting, and then obviously Bills and Chiefs Sunday night. We'll we'll dive into all those more um, as the week goes on. Oh, Steelers minus one and a half. Yeah, against Denver. I'll probably take Steelers money line if Teddy's out. Good luck, my friend. Um, games that are seeing all the action so far. Rams, eighty uh, percent of the bets and ninety percent of the money. That's Thursday night. Oh yeah, I'm all hey, fucking, I'm all oh, over the God Seahawks. Damn it. All over it. Jets, are, Jets are getting sixty five percent of the bets and ninety percent of the money. Beautiful. Give me Atlanta. Pats are getting seventy three percent against the Texans. I don't really want to touch that one. Me either. Bucks are getting sixty five against the Dolphins. Those Pan- are two. Those are two teaser games actually. Panthers are getting seventy. Uh, Titans are getting ninety. Yeah, I'll be staying away from that one. Steelers are getting seventy. Packers are getting eighty three percent. Saints are getting seventy five percent. There we go. That helps a little bit. There we go. Raiders are getting sixty five. Chargers are getting seventy. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna- Cowboys are getting seventy three. I'm going to take the Bears this week because I should have taken them last week. It's going to fucking get me. We'll see. Um, Some college games I'm looking at early. Uh, Houston's laying six. Houston was very impressive uh, last week. They fucking blew the doors off of Tulane. Um, So these are – I'm not taking these. Need some more. Uh, Houston, now they're down to five and a half. Tulane hasn't been as great lately. I mean, Tulsa, they blew out the doors off last week. Coastal's minus 16 and a half. I love Coastal. Again, second year in a row, they're dominating. Arizona State is minus 10 and a half against Stanford. I think that might be too much, but I wrote it down. Now they're, that's 12 and a half. Now they're 12 and a half. Yeah. And now that's probably a stay away from me. Michigan State. Down to four and a half. Against Rutgers. You wouldn't fuck it there. You wouldn't dare. I, I fucking you die if if Rutgers covers you. Bet oh, Michigan I would State, die. You die. I would die. You die. That's a die. There you go. There's your death game. Here's a death game. <laughs> Two teams that died last week: Arkansas at Ole Miss. Ole Miss is minus five and a half. I ain't touching that one. I can't do it. I like. I might look at the dog, maybe. Uh, as I'm wearing the Ole Miss. Yeah, fucking. scumbag. Uh, Tennessee is minus ten and a half. Tennessee's actually uh, been pretty good this year. Yes, sir. Um. I don't like going against the Gamecocks, though. They've been – they they can't score. Uh, I know Georgia Tech looked like shit last week against Pitt, uh, but they're at Duke, three-and-a-half-point favorite. Might look at it. I may go back with Eastern Michigan, even though they fucked me last week. The Cuse is at home getting a touchdown. Against? Uh, Wake Forest. See, this is these are the ones that get you. These are the if ones I bet Wake again, I go back. But then if I fade them and I take Cuse, then Wake will blow them out. It's an interesting one. Undefeated BYU against Boise is a five and a half point favorite. Fuck BYU. I don't know if their guys are still out or not. Who That's cares? what I need that to look at. Uh, SMU, who covered the twenty last week, they're thirteen and a half against Navy this week. You know who the pick is this week, Tony. I'm about to type it in right now. Oregon State, minus three and a half against Washington State. I do love that, but there's another one. What? Our boys. Who? UTSA. Oh. Against Western Kentucky. Yeah. As a dog! Yeah. What are we talking about? How are they dogs? What are we talking about? Western Kentucky can fucking throw the ball around the yard, but how the fuck did I miss that one? Uh, Tell me. I thought that was going to be the first one you had the hell i must have missed it somehow are you hopping on this michigan wagon mm, what do they got this week they are minus three hold on i didn't write down who it gets oh you had it down at nebraska minus three and a half maybe these lines are coming out late because i didn't see that one either i'm gonna have to go back through um so I, that doesn't seem like enough does it i mean nebraska did play well last week martinez had a bit I of know. coming out but that Martinez, seem... Martinez will give you one of those every once in a while. I can promise you there's going to be a lot of money on Michigan. Notre Dame, Virginia Tech is a pick em. Yeah. I mean, they're enter Sandman, right? Oh, we'll see. We'll Notre see. Dame can't lose two in a row. Can they? No. Can't do it. Won't do it. Um, maybe. I Maybe, though. I'll probably take Notre Dame there. 
Wake Forest minus six and a half. WVU Baylor is interesting. I, uh, I'm looking at the under in that one. Fucking Baylor did us wrong last weekend. They are 114th in number 121 as far as uh, plays per game ran, as far as tempo. Between, That's going to be a slow one. Between BYU and LSU, that was that was pretty much the... Uh, Nail in the coffin last week? Yeah, the Saturday Night Live betting got a little bit fucking out of hand. <laughs> it started with Oregon, and we thought... So I, I we, were, we were cruising with Oregon because we just took a money line, yeah. plus two and a half when yep. they were down, so we were cruising. So I was like, ah, oh, fucking live bet fucking BYU, or live bet Baylor. We'll live bet fucking LSU when they're down. They'll come... Nah, I mean, it all fell apart. It's all right, pal. That'll happen. Um, That'll happen. All right. Let's oh, Iowa money line, by the way. Against Penn State. Yeah. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off, damn it. And a uh, reminder, do gamble responsibly, everybody. <laughs> okay. What about Georgia minus 14 and a half? That one's who they have. Should write down who these are playing. Right it's against. Just, is it Mississippi State? No. No. Hold on. Hold on, little girl. It's, um, fuck, I just had it up. Auburn. Yeah. Bo Nix ain't going to be able to do anything against that fucking defense, dude. You Nobody's been able think. to. They fucking... Nobody! Dog walk. Minus 14 and a half feels like a decent number. They're awesome. George yeah. is awesome. Where's Louisville? I got Louisville minus two and a half, too. Louisville is against your boys from Virginia. Yeah. I bet I'm still on that. I hate that <laughs> fucking team. If I lose every bet to Virginia the rest of the year, I don't care. I that team is it's too much. Okay. Um MLB tonight. AL wild card. Sox, Yanks. It's in Fenway. Yankees are currently minus 134 on the money line. Uh they are minus one and a half. Over under is still at eight. eight. Now, what's confusing to me is earlier the money line was like the Yankees' uh, odds were less. It was only like minus 128. And the plus one and a half for the Red Sox was minus 130. Now it's minus 146 if you want to go full game Red Sox. Um, here's Cole and Avaldi are going. Cole in his last three, six innings pitched, five earned runs. Six innings pitched, three earned runs, five and two-thirds, seven earned runs. Uh, he's got a 4.91 ERA against the Sox this year. He's got a 6.19 ERA at Fenway. He's got a 2.28 night ERA, though, uh, and he's got a 2.68 playoff ERA, eight and four record. Ivaldi has gone in his last three. Six innings pitch, no earned runs. Two and two thirds, seven earned runs. Against the Yanks. Five innings pitch, three earned runs. Uh, he's got a 3.71 against the Yankees, even with that bad one. 3.47 at Fenway, 3.76 at night. And uh, he's two and one in the playoffs with a 1.61 ERA. Those yeah. are your starters for tonight. He was our horse. 2018 came <clears> out of the pen. <throat> Correct. I mean, the game he lost, he threw fucking like 11 innings. Uh, batting stats. Sox are number two versus right-handed pitchers the last 60 days. Number four versus right-handed pitcher the last 30 days. They're uh, number one versus right-handed pitchers at home at Fenway, hitting 306. Yankees, number 21 versus right-handed pitchers the last 60 days. 25th versus right-handed pitchers the last 30 days. Number 14 away versus right-handed pitchers. Yankees have won six in a row, nine of the last 12 against Boston. Ten and nine on the season series. To the Sox. Sox are up ten nine season series, but the Yanks have won six in a row. Nine of last twelve. Ten nine <clears throat> season series to the Sox. Yep, to the Sox. Ten nine season series. There we go. Those are your stats for tonight that I came up with. Uh, Yankees have a slight advantage in bullpen ERA. Mark Carlson is behind the plate, seventeen and nine to the home team this year. Mark Carlson. Dick Carlson. Okay. All right. That's tonight. Big game for you, pal. Yeah, no shit. I've been seeing those fucking hashtag dirty water tweets for 162 games now. 
game 163 how do you feel terrified it's the, the wild card game is the fucking it's do or die They're like this is it even the players say this is the worst possible game to play in <laughs> like when you go in the playoffs you start getting less nervous as the games go on it's it's do or die this is this is death game would you wild. rather have had sale than Avaldi? no not the way sales going Avaldi's your guy Avaldi is he's big game of Aldi. he loves this spot he loves this moment my only concern is he got lit by the yankees not long ago. That's it was not long ago. But but he did find it his next start after that. He was back. Yeah, he gave up none. Yeah. And he still had a 3.7 on the year versus the Yankees. So that one, two and two thirds, seven and runs. Even with that, it's not a terrible ERA against the Yanks. Yeah. Obviously, they he's got to get out of the first. Yes. That's the thing. If, if he starts getting smacked around in the first. I don't worry about the bullpens that much because the Sox are just going to use starters. Yeah. They're going to use Erod. They're going to use Pavetta. They got they got Hook, that kid who can fucking... Mm-hmm. Tanner? Throw, yeah, he can fucking throw gas. I'm taking Red Sox first five plus a half. Okay. I am on Sox first five plus a half minus 132. Yeah. And I also took Sox plus one and a half. Full game. Full game. Minus the one thirty seven is what I'm on. It's just it's the home home team getting it makes sense. Crowds and it's a fucking fucking it's a homer bet. I know I'm well aware, but you bet on a team who's at home who's getting plus a half with. I don't think Cole has outpitched Evaldi this year. I really don't. It's just who who gets hot. That's all it is. It's one one game. Um, I should pull this up just so I have it. Um, first five report. Uh, where do we have? Where's the Red Sox? Red Sox at home are 42, 30, and nine uh, on the season. First five, six, three, and one in their last 10. The Yankees on the road are 32, 32, and 14. First five, six, and four in their last 10. Anything else that I'm missing here? No, sir. The trends are good for both teams. Yeah. Um, their last 10 games overall, the Yanks are 7-3. and three. Uh, Sox are 5-5. Five and five. These teams all year long, they've just been streaky teams. They get hot, they get cold. They're yeah. Both teams, the exact same. It's been insane. So, I mean, whoever wins is walking into a shit storm in Tampa. I think the rest of the boys in the office are on the Yanks. Yeah. You and I are going to be on the Sox. Mitt. Baseball fucking expert. What are you on tonight, Paul? Well, I mean, this is a hyped up game. He's a hype boy. I'm a hype boy. It's the Red Sox. It's the Yankees. I really don't give a shit about the Yankees, even though I'm a Cowboys and Lakers fan. Hype boy Yankees, even though you have all their hats. Uh, I mean, I got a bunch of good lids. I really only care for the south side. But LeBron owns... A portion of the Boston Red Sox, oh, so I'm taking the Boston Red Sox oh, in my mind. Jesus Christ. Christ. It was still a hype boy. Still made it into a hype boy. <laughs> you, did, you did turn it's it incredible. into a hype boy pick. It's incredible. Hey, if LeBron likes the team, I like the team. Let's go. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. I love playoff baseball. Yeah, it's the buzz. It's the buzz. So, like, tonight the wild card's great. Wednesday the wild card's great. Thursday, you got a 4 o'clock and an 8 o'clock game. That's all right. Friday's the day that I fucking love. You got 2 o'clock, White Sox at Houston, 4.30, Atlanta at Milwaukee, and then 7.02, whoever wins this versus Tampa, and then the night game, uh, whoever wins the NL wild card, which is Dodgers and Cards versus the San Francisco Giants. That day's, that's a good day. Dodgers Giants in the first round. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? They already uh, got fucking starting pitchers listed for the Giants. Uh, not for the Giants. It's got to be Gossman though, right? Um, oh, fuck, Logan Webb's been so good. So for we'll talk about tomorrow's game tomorrow a little more. But right now it's Wainwright versus Scherzer. Yeah, that's awesome. What's the line on that fucking game? It's absurd. I think uh, Dodgers are like minus 225. Almost have to take Wainwright. Just if he's getting, is he getting plus one and a half? 
First five? Yeah. No, plus a half, plus 115. Okay. If it was one, they wouldn't do one and a half in the playoffs. Fucking tough one for Cubs fans to swallow tonight. Schwarber and Rizzo bad oh, lead off for the Sox and Yanks. Uh, McCullers <laughs> is going to go for Houston. White Sox haven't listed a starter yet. McCullers going one? Yeah. McClanahan's going for Tampa. McClanahan game one? Shane. I'll take my chances there. Wait, well, sorry, Atlanta's t- putting Chucky ball games on the uh, yeah, mound game one versus, out. versus Corbin Burns. He's been lights out second half. What's that, Mitt? Uh, sorry, I kind of got lost in the baseball talk. Uh, who the who the South Side got first round? They had Astros. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we'll beat the shit out of those cheating assholes. I assume Redone goes game one, right? Nah. Come on. Big country. Yeah. Fuck Lance Lynn game one. Yeah. Has to be Lance will go game. Lance one. ball game, dude. Lance will go game one. This is when fucking base like think about Bumgardner when he was with the Giants. Yep. What he come in on no rest yep. that game to finish like, all of them like legends all the games this October baseball is when legends are made like just unforgettable moments it's, it's the gonna best. be it's gonna be fucking awesome it's all gonna be great um, later in the week so like tomorrow obviously the Cards have their streak coming in Dodgers have obviously been great in the second half Sox though Sox have been okay down the stretch not great. They're seven and three in their last ten, though. So maybe they turned it on. White a Sox. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. Houston's four and six in their last ten. I guess because Granke's gone, gone cold. Dude, he has been fucking terrible. And I don't trust their pitching staff. I think White Sox. White Sox should win that series. I really think so. I'd like to see the White Sox go on a run. Hey, we wouldn't if hate not, it south side. If not, uh, if not the Red Sox, I'd like to see the White Sox come out of the American League. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I have a rooting interest yet. National League, anybody but the Dodgers. Anybody but the Dodgers. Obviously, I actually, I do have a rooting interest because I have a ticket for the Brewers to win the oh, NL yeah. and the fucking series. I, I have a soft spot for the Giants for some reason. I always have. I don't know why. Like, if I supported a National League team, it would definitely be the Giants. Well, they have made us more money than we can imagine this year. Uh, that is true. Did you see how Flexen's first five season ended? Uh, I did not. Not great? No, they were down 2-1. Uh-huh. Mitch Hanniger straight away two-run shot to win it. Two outs in the fifth. Had to be. <laughs> Storybook ending, dude. So That guy's going to get... We're never going to see that again. Flexen's not going to be plus a half next year. Ever. I got a plus 240 cash out for Brewers to win the National. And plus 160 cash out for them to win the World Series. I'm just going to hold on to those. Fuck it. Yeah, let it ride. It's not that much. Let uh, it ride. Um, is there any fucking uh, boost for tonight's game? Let's we'll see. Uh, Yankees yeah, to win by one like to three it. runs is plus 230. Uh, There's a same game parlay. Torres are judged to record a hit in their first plate appearance, plus 160. Rafael Devers to record two plus RBIs plus two six or plus six hundred. Oh, here's one for you, Tony. This is also another bet I would like. What's that? Uh, Kyle Schwarber, anytime home run, anytime bomb plus three eighty. He loves these moments. Yeah, the uh, are you talking about the popular same game parlays up top? Yeah, the thing stinks. Yeah, I'm not going to touch any. Get of those. it off. I'm not Get gonna it fucking off. Touch it. If what's the the only ones I ever like looking at is the K props. Yeah, Dev, Which, I mean Devers to hit a dinger plus four forty two is insane after the day he just had. Which I'm not even. You could get Garrett Cole four plus strikeouts and Yankees to win. That's minus one twenty eight. Why would you do that? I think I'm gonna stay away from those. No, I got Sox first five and plus a half, and Sox full game plus one and a half. Here's the same game parlay. Red Sox plus one and a half. Schwarber Dinger. Devers Dinger. Plus twenty eight seventy nine. Fucking locking it in. You ten, lock it. You ten lock. ten dollars gets you two hundred and eighty seven dollars. Oh yeah. You locking that in? Yeah, I'll put down a fifty piece. That a boy. Fifty for fifteen hundred. Let's go. That's the one. 
Um, all right, we can't, can't thank you guys enough. Mitt broke the phone. God, God damn, damn it. Man. They'll be back tomorrow. Uh, we can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much for spreading the word. Bot yeah. hammer, Don. Hell yeah. Tomorrow, uh, college football picks will will be shrunk and down. Yeah, I think I pretty much. I don't know. Fucking NFL games that we're looking at, we'll talk about. Not official yet, but games that sides that we like, we'll have. Uh, obviously, wild card tomorrow night in the NL. Thursday we got games. Friday we got a fuck ton of games. It's a good time to be a gambling show. Hell yeah. It's a great time to be a gambling show. Uh, Mitt, anything else before we get out of here? Uh, yeah, check out uh, store.patmacfishow.com, hammer down section. We got a bunch of merch and shit. Uh, see at the fucking window. Oh, see at the, the fucking window. window. Man. See at the window. See at the window. Uh, store.patmacfishow.com. YouTube.com slash hammer down. down. Hammer down on Twitter and Instagram. Good luck. God bless. Hammer. Dad. See you at the window.